I'm Vijay, I'm a founding engineer at Oso, and today I'm going to talk about challenges when it comes to scaling with centralized authorization solutions. In a centralized authorization solution, you generally have one centralized authorization service that has all information about things like user roles and relations between resources. Let's say you're building an application like GitHub, for example. Um, you might have organizations and repositories, and a user has access to a repository if they have access to the organization that it's in or if the repository is set to public. With a centralized authorization solution, how would you build something like a search results page for repositories that a user has searched for? Um, well, one way you could do it, and the most natural way to do it in a centralized authorization solution, is to ask the authorization service, what are all of the repositories that this user has access to? The problem turns into a cardinality problem and a performance problem because the response might be millions of identifiers for individual repositories. And um, in order to solve this kind of problem in a centralized solution, you might need to start to duplicate your authorization logic into your application code to do more um, specialized and intricate queries to the authorization service. For example, instead of asking what repositories do I have access to in order to answer the question, which repositories do I have access to, you might instead um, follow this authorization chain up to the organization layer and ask, what are the organizations that I have access to? And then stitch that together with a separate check that checks, is this repository public? And then have to stitch these together again into one database query where you do your search, um, your search query. Examples of this that I've seen include um, when you have a centralized authorization solution, if you want to do really contextual queries and, and do queries that operate over specifically what the application knows is relevant to the user, sometimes you need to do really complex data fetching on the application side to even tell the authorization service, here's the data that I want you to take into account. And that turns into another form of duplicating authorization logic into the application code, but on the data fetching side, where your data fetching basically becomes um, really complex authorization logic in and of itself, which kind of defeats the purpose of even using an authorization solution. Another example of this is, let's say you're doing search in over embedded queries um, in, in building something like RAG, for example, and you might materialize into your Elasticsearch cluster all of the user IDs saying these are the users that have access to this particular chunk of context that I want to feed to the LLM. And this is an example that I've seen where the um, implementer knows that it's not going to scale and will need to reach out to um, a non-centralized solution such as OSO, for example, where we have local authorization, which will automatically let you ask a query over a resource at whatever level you want to and automatically construct a low cardinality filter that operates over both data that's stored centrally and data that's stored in your application's database.